What's going on, everybody? It's Peter Dewey with Fan Sided here, and I'm joined today by one of the best defensive players in the NFL, all pro Philadelphia Eagles linebacker, Son Reddick. Son, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, Peter. How about yourself? Doing great. I'm doing great. I'm excited to, to kind of get into this, get to talk to you about uh, the season, your partnership with Campbell's Chunky as well. Um, but I got to ask you first a little bit about last season, because obviously you guys made the Super Bowl last season. Um, really dominated the NFC all throughout the year, best record in the NFL. Can you just talk to me about, about that experience, getting to play in the Super Bowl, and then how you're kind of carrying that into this season? Oh, man, it was it was crazy, you know, um, Super Bowl playoffs. Like, that was my first time in my career being in playoffs. And to be able, you know, my first time seeing any postseason action, to be able to go to the Super Bowl, Man, it was it was it was crazy, you know. It was back in Arizona where I started my career at. Um, and here I am. I'm I'm here with my hometown team, a team that I grew up watching and loved to see on Sunday. So man, just uh it was a full circle moment for myself. Yeah, it's it's so awesome. And I, I you brought up Arizona. I wanna touch on something that I saw it was an unbelievable stat. You were the first NFL player in history last season to record 10 plus sacks in three straight seasons with three different teams. Obviously last year might've been your best season, 16 sacks, five forced fumbles. What about that Eagles defense has helped you thrive? Uh, you know, just the, the, the guys that we have on the team, the guys that we have on defense, um, you know, we, we, we're, we're, we get to push each other. Um, you're talking about maybe one of the best D lines in football going against, you know, one of, if not the best O-line in football, we, we get to go against the best every day. So it's just like everybody's pushing each other to be their best. Everybody's, you know, we're, we're working together. We talk about the things that, you know, hey, what did you see on this play and practice for me? How can I be better? We're here to help each other. And that was something, you know, that was something new for me and something that I love. Coming into this season, I know you had that that thumb surgery this off season. How how are you feeling? How's recovery been? And and what do you feel about for week one uh, coming up in a couple of weeks? Yeah, man, everything is good. You know, it's, this is this is the sport, right? This is the, mm -hmm. the I call it the gladiator sport because this is the type of things that happen. Um, you know, fortunately, fortunately enough for myself, it wasn't something that I have to miss time for. Uh, so just been. You know, going through therapy, making sure, you know, getting this thing back moving and stuff like that. So when week one come, we can hit the ground running. Um, I'm not expected to miss any time, uh, which I'm excited about. And and that's pretty much that. Awesome. That's great to hear. And I want to talk about your your partnership with Campbell's Chunkies. I think that's really awesome this season, uh, fighting food insecurity. So can you just tell me, you know, what that partnership's about and what you're most excited for for it? Yeah. So, um, you know, I, uh, the way it came about, you know, um, Mark, Mark Klaus, uh, is the CEO right now of, uh, of Campbell's. Um, Campbell's is also, or Chunky is also headquartered in uh, my hometown where I was born and raised in Camden, New Jersey. Um, and I was doing a lot and still in, doing a lot of community work there. Um, Campbell's, you know, they, they, they caught wind of that, helped me out. We collabed on a bunch of stuff like... Uh, Christmas giveaways, my football camp this past uh, off season in the summer. And we've been just working together, trying to make the community a better place. Um, and that's how the partnership started. Now I'm here, a part of the Chunkies brand, you know, partnering with them. And like you said, trying to help give back and, and feed, you know, the Americans that, that don't have. Um, so one of their initiatives is the Chunky Sacks Hunger Initiative, you know, program where, this year, we're trying to do 2 million meals. So for every Chunky's, uh, Chunky's bowl that's purchased, Chunky's will be giving away a meal to those in need. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Any special event you're doing? I know you mentioned the, the Christmas giveaway. Any special event you're doing this year um, for charity work? Uh, you know, uh, I got a lot going on. Um, I'm, I always do a Christmas. I always do a Christmas giveaway just because Christmas was, you know, it's, it's it is my favorite holiday, and I just want to make sure that everybody has a great holiday when it comes to Christmas time. You know, spread that joy, spread that love, spread spread the blessings. Um, I also do a lot for Thanksgiving. Um, you know, 
Last, I did turkey giveaways, trying to feed families in Camden, families in Philadelphia, wherever I'm playing ball, trying to impact the community. This year, I'm work like I said, I'm working with Chunkies. We're giving away food. So around that time, you know, hopefully we got more in the works and giving back more, touching more families, uh, you know, hopefully across the whole nation rather than just one specific area or region across the whole nation. Um, I know that's their goal. That's my goal. And like I said, we just want to see the community. We want to see our communities thrive. That's awesome. And you mentioned, you know, growing up near Philadelphia, you obviously went to Temple for for college. How does it feel just being with your hometown team now, and especially with the success you guys had last year? It, it's, it's crazy, you know. Uh, like, every time I think about it, it's just a blessing, man, because a lot of people, you know, Peter, they don't get to play for their hometown team. You know, it's hard. It's hard enough to make it to the NFL, but to get to the NFL and have the opportunity to play for your hometown team. I mean, it, it meant everything for me. And the only thing that I want to do is go out there and, and give my best. You know, every time I'm out there, I, I, I'm representing. I feel like I'm doing it for the town, for the city, you know, more than just for myself, more than just for the team. Uh, from somebody that's from the area, I'm truly I'm doing it for the whole area, the whole city, Philly, Camden, any you know every any every and anybody that's an Eagles fan, that's who I'm doing it for. Yeah, that's amazing. And so this season, I thought last year you definitely had a conversation to be the defensive player of the year. Personally, any personal goals you have coming up in this 2023 season? Man, just to be better than I was last year, and you know I know that. Last year I had an amazing year. You know, there's no way around that. Um, and it, it's going to be hard. It, it's going to be hard to duplicate it, uh, what I did last year. But uh, I'm a man that believes in progress, steady progress at that, right? Continue, continuing to be better, continue to get better. Um, so as hard as it was, that's the goal for this year. Um, however, I can just be better than I was last year, be a bigger impact for the team than I was last year. Love it. Love to hear it. Also, got to ask you, Going through camp, any teammate that has stuck out to you, you think somebody may have a breakout season or somebody you've been really impressed with coming into this 2023 season? So, so, so many guys, man. So, so many guys, especially young guys. Uh, you know, and I'm going to go ahead because I know everybody, you know, everybody's been talking about him, but, uh, uh, you know, Jalen Carter is one of the guys that I, I, I do, you know, think will have a big year. He's just... He's been electric, man, um, better than I thought he was. And, you know, I'm glad to have him here. I'm glad that we drafted him here uh, because I know he's going to be a big help, uh, especially with us, you know, having Hargrave that, Hargrave that went away, uh, that left this year, this past year. Um, and I think also maybe uh, Swift, man, Swift. He's another Philly guy. You know, he's back home. And – I remember our first uh, open practice that we had at the link. You know, I talked to him. And he's like, yo, this is crazy. He's like, this is just practice. And I'm like, I'm telling him, like, bro, the energy at the link is wow. Wait till the season get here. It's just, it's just bananas, man. Um, I've never been somewhere where the energy has been like this. You know, fans are die hard. They're about the football here. And I I, I love it. You gotta love it. Any any specific game you're looking most forward to on the on the schedule this year? <laughs> uh, I got quite a few. Definitely Kansas City. Uh, after losing to them in the Super Bowl, you know, I definitely want to get out there uh, and, and, and try to go beat them. Um, other than that, I would say uh, maybe the San Fran game. You know, it was a lot of chirping back and forth. Uh, after that game, all through the Super Bowl, through the, you know, through the all season, all the way up to, you know, training camp, a lot of chirping back and forth, um, which, you, you know, you you got to love. You got to love the competition in the sport. Uh, but looking forward to playing them again as well. Awesome. Hassan, thank you so much for joining me, man. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Good, great, good luck to you and the Eagles this season. Hey, Peter, thank you for having me. It was a pleasure as well.